Konnichiwa, viewers. Welcome to another episode of Kyoto by Night, The Second Breath. This evening, we again look upon Akiba Zaibatsu, the Wu that is uh, trying to make a name for quite a bit of success lately with many different endeavors. This evening, they are going to continue their investigation of the Kingu family and their involvement with the Broken Mirror. So we will look in on the Wu as they are preparing for this reclusive artist to arrive at uh, Masaru's home. And obviously, as we had done in the previous scene, um, the whole place has been pretty much set up to the point where, um, you know, it will be inconspicuous, as it were, despite the obvious um, unpleasantness that happened here as a result of uh, Miss Masami's, or at least the... Uh, Bakimono um, possessed Masami uh, had done some stupendously unnice things to members of her own family. Um, <coughs> either way, however, uh, first things first. Uh, consider considering all the uh, Yang energy, uh, Yang Chi that uh, both herself and uh, Akira had uh, given to uh, Follower of Seven in their uh, midst of their little uh, night of revelry. Uh, Pink Fox is probably going to, um, along with uh, uh, Akira, hopefully, uh, mm -hmm. probably uh, try and have a word of Fowler or Seven um, in light of um, everything that, basically, in light of everything that has been has gone on during this investigation, and you know to continue in their uh, their mutual beneficial uh, relationship. She just basically ask Fowler of Seven if they'd be able to kind of watch the uh, surrounding areas for police and perhaps uh, other other gake, you know, um, ones which are about uh, seven feet tall and look very very dead. <laughs> and, um, make uh, make a either charisma, empathy, or charisma. Uh, rituals, whichever would be higher, and um, I'd say it'd be difficulty. Well, just standard difficulty. Um, mine, is, can, mine is. Uh, Pink Fox could also, yeah, standard difficulty for you because you have her as an actual uh, contact as well, so uh -huh. not just. Yeah, but, uh, uh, but I mean, I have both rituals too and empathy too. So does it do I need to specify which one? Uh, f for you to help, no, it wouldn't. Okay. Well, that's... Uh, one success. Yeah, just one success. Okay. Bit disappointing. <laughs> but <laughs> that's, 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 that's still that. enough to uh, to gather a little bit of extra support, basically, checking surveillance, um, you know, radio frequencies, anything that would be uh, <laughs> suspicious or untoward in the area. So... Um, and yeah, you guys have already gotten the place cleaned up and stuff, so at the uh, time that you guys had made, um, and you also have the list of specific requirements that she requested as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, Which Pink Fox would naturally uh, let everyone know about beforehand. Okay. You know, things like the windows um, and, uh, windows and doors. Yeah, wi windows got to be open, <coughs> doors in the rooms that she in has to be open. Um, no, you're not allowed to have any meat in the house. She's strict vegan. Uh, she takes breaks every 30 minutes. She's going to be smoking the whole time she's there, so don't uh, try to tell her she can't smoke in the house or she won't paint. <laughs> With and you'll lose your deposit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, most of her, yeah, I was going to say, most of her requirements wasn't really going to be putting you guys out anyway. Um, but yeah, would no doubt... Uh, music as well that she wants to... Um, yes. It would no doubt create uh, some stress for regular clients, but you guys are very accommodating. Yes. And obviously Pink Fox will share her own reasoning as to why she thinks that uh, uh, Koharu, um, you know, has made these specific requests. I'll do that in character. So, yeah. 
I don't know about you guys, and I don't know much about, you know, psychology or anything like that, but all these requests kind of are a little bit, you know, they kind of hint at someone who's probably gone through, you know, some kind of traumatic experience of some sort. You know, they don't like silence, I think. Uh, they don't like closed spaces. I mean, considering what we know about that broken mirror. Yeah. Okay. So. Claustrophobia. Hmm. So, here's what I think. Obviously, you know, me and Acura are probably going to evaluate her, see what you know we can find about her soul. You know, you use um, you know cultivation to try and find out you know little dirty secrets or whatever, and we'll have to communicate them to each other somehow. But you know, I'm gonna. Here's what I think. We'll go. We'll take her into the uh, the upstairs bedroom, and I'll like put and I'll like lay on the the uh, on the bed, like I'm posing. You know, I'm gonna be the central focus. You know, keep mm. keep eye on just me, whilst you guys, you know, uh, do what you do. You do what you guys do. Um, I've already told you know, a Gowan what we're doing and you know we're gonna let him know what you know we find about this we don't know what we're gonna find obviously so here's what we do know we do know that you know Masaru was killed by his sister mm. and that she him group of other people who are dead now they met in that uh, room maybe she knows where it is maybe she doesn't maybe she's in part responsible for it maybe she's not Ooh. we don't know unless we try Akira nods. I. It turns. We gotta remember about Masaru, though. If it turns out that her reasons for killing him were. not legitimate, I suppose I could say. <coughs> I think we should probably leave this in the hands of Ogawa. But if they are, were legitimate. I guess we'll have to have a word with each other during one of our breaks. We need to find out that first and foremost, he says, and then we can mm. we can decide on our further action from there. Mm. Okay. Is everyone clear on what they gotta do? You just evaluate on her, find out what she knows, and what exactly went down. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, a uh, car pulls up at the time you guys had booked the appointment. A uh, guy gets out of the car and God. walks... A guy gets out of the car, walks up to the house and knocks on the door. Probably Pink Fox will be the one to kind of like look through the little. I'm assuming he has like little pee pee hole type thing in there. Yeah, she'll be like standing there, standing on her little tiptoes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Gogaru was a girl. There's a guy out here. Akira frowns. Oh, open, open it. Yes, open it. Okay, and Pink Fox will open it, open the, you know, open the door. Hi. Uh, good evening. We uh, spoke on the phone. You have a commission project. Yeah, we're looking. I was kind of uh, expecting uh, 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 Miss Kinga Kaharu. 
Yes, I'm just making sure that everything is uh, arranged. May I come in? Of course. She'll kind of like uh, step uh, back and uh, let the guy in. Okay. He'll take his shoes off and walk. He's like, where is the uh, where is the room that you're planning on getting the painting? Oh, can I follow me? <coughs> and Pink Fox will like probably escort him up um, the stairs and into the uh, into the master bedroom, as it were, the big you know with the big queen size uh, bed. And obviously, she'll like point out that the doors are open, the windows are open. You know, there's an ashtray like um, on like a little um, side coaster table thing that obviously can probably move around or whatnot. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Excellent. I'll, uh, I will go and unload the vehicle. He'll bow politely and he'll head back to the car. Um, we've yes, got. I was, I was, I was, I was going to say I was going to do a valuate roll of my. All right. Da 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 da. And three. Okay. And okay. All right. Um. Okay. Well, you guys get his name, and he didn't even introduce himself. Um, he uh, he's actually kind of boring. Um, he doesn't have like he doesn't seem to have any uh, any repressed memories or any dark corners to his soul that you're kind of getting glimpses of. Um, you guys are going to be able to tell if he lies to you at all throughout the whole night. Um, he has no spirit bonds on him. Um, his willpower is five. Um, he's not, uh, I mean, he's fairly strong-willed, but not necessarily uh, overpoweringly. So um, he uh, has very, uh, very high morality. Um, his... Uh, his nature and his demeanor are both very similar. Um, he would be, uh, probably would be, um, uh, the support of one. Um, so he, he's, he's very, he's very supportive, um, diligent by nature. He's very, uh, hardworking. He does have, it's not a, uh, it's not like a love love or a familiar love, um, but he does have care and concern for Koharu. Um, so he, he it's not just a job for him, but he kind of feels like he's helping either shelter or uh, help her cope with whatever she's dealing with. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, the two of you guys get really solid insight on this guy. All right. Um, so he yeah starts unloading supplies out of the back of the car. Um, the um, back seat of the car will open, and a uh, woman with a cigarette in her mouth <laughs> will get out of the car and start heading um, in towards the house with him as he's carrying stuff. And you know, naturally, a pink fox will you know uh, bow and greet um, Koharu. <coughs> Sorry, still got that cough. It's not as bad as it was last uh, last month. Though. Hello, uh, you must be uh, Miss uh, uh, Miss King uh, Kingu Koharu. Nice to meet you. Thank you, with Bampolati as well. Yes. Uh, what is the subject that you are wanting me to paint? Uh, it's upstairs in the uh, uh, in the master bedroom. We kind of just wanted the uh, interior of you know the bed with uh, me posing, you know, lying on it, posing. All right. Let us go there then. Mm -hmm. And pink, 
Castle and actually, you know, escort uh, hmm. uh, Miss uh, uh, Miss Kingu up into the master bedroom. You know, she'll like point out, you know, uh, like you've asked. Um, the windows are open, the doors are open. We got this ashtray here for you, um, and you know, in the uh, in the refrigerator we got some uh, like like vegan. You don't have a nut allergy, do you? No, no, I don't. Well, we got we got nuts, we got celery, we got fruit, um, some other things as well. All right, good. Um, we'll get set up. Um, she'll gesture, and uh, her uh, support guy will go, and he'll actually start setting up her uh, her easel and painting area. Um, he sets it up at an angle, which isn't where you probably would have assumed that she'd be sitting to view the bed, um, but it's at an angle where she can see both the window and the doorway to the room, as well as the bed. So she's probably a lot closer to the bed than you thought, um, and at a funny angle to the dresser, but that is where he is setting up her work. Okay. And I can see that Akira is uh, yes. spending yes, a lot I'll... of specialized attention. Yes, and so will uh, I. I will also be spending a full PowerPoint for this because you know reasons. Okay. Uh, depending on the difficulty, you got one success. One success. Yes. <laughs> Damn. Um. So, um, you both can see um that uh, she uh, yeah. She's a, a chain smoker. Um, she uh, always has to be able to see the doorway to the room or windows. Um, prefers uh, noise, does not like silence. Um, she'll, she can be chatty, um, which is, you know, one thing. Um, and uh, so uh, Akira, you know she's not living under a pseudonym. That is her her actual name. Um, she uh, she has uh, she's had a very traumatic childhood, but she does not uh, pretty much refuses to uh, discuss. And while you can't see what they are, you can see indications that she has uh, derangements. Hmm. Um, and uh, just double checking here, see what else. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the extent of what uh, what you guys get with your your readings there. Yeah, mentally, Pink Fox is going to be a little bit disappointed about that. But perhaps it probably uh, shouldn't be, because, you know, obviously when you go through things like that, you know, the brain is, the mind is a, uh, the mind is a terrible thing to taste. As, yeah, um, it, it can be. <laughs> yes. uh, unless you're a feral chamay, but, you know, that's uh, neither here nor there. Okay, so Akira is going to try to delve deeper uh, into her thoughts. So let us take a look. See here. Uh, I'm just looking at the same thing here. Uh, view one okay, of the targets so. with, with the power that he's describing. View one of the target surface thoughts chosen by the storyteller per success. Thoughts yeah. view typically appear in a pictorial form, like paintings. Okay, oh, irony. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, all right. So you will, um, you will see a uh, image of. Well, actually, yeah, let me go through here. Let's see what pictorial pictures I can give you, and then that way you can see what. Um, 
So you will. That's a little bit bigger, but no, that probably covers. So you get this imagery will cross your mind. And and da -da -da -da. This will kind of, yeah, this will cross, this will be a second thought that is uh, crossing her mind as well. <clears throat> Akira starts a little bit but doesn't say anything. And. And that'll cross her mind as well. <laughs> now he just smiles. I wonder who that's supposed to represent. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's on a job. She's picturing what kind of picture that she's supposed to be doing. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, um, she'll, uh, as they're sitting up the stand, you know, she gets on her uh, iPod, um, cranks the music up. Uh, loud enough that it's very easily to hear, um, but uh, you don't have to scream or anything to, to talk over over top of it. Uh, she sets that on her uh, paint stand. and um, So, uh, are you the subject? Um, she indicates Pink Fox. Yep. All right. Um, what, uh, did you have any specific ideas you would like in mind, or... Yeah, um, if it's okay, I've got my f phone here that uh, kind of, I might be getting a call later to, uh, sometime tonight, so I just like to keep it on the bed, but, um, you know, you don't need to paint that. Uh, I do have kind of some poses in mind, and, you know, Pink Fox will probably like, um, you know, naturally she'll take a, sh she's already pr probably um, in her indoor shoes, but you know, she'll probably take those um, off before if she gets into the bed, and she'll... Uh, probably adopt a, a few. Um, how can we put this? Provocative. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, poses. Not not to like make anyone uncomfortable or anything, but because you know if here it's fine and you know very high performance and stuff like that. So it's kind of like yeah. Okay. <laughs> probably go. Um, yeah. So a, a, as you're doing that, she'll just kind of you know, kind of watch you and kind of walk at a couple of different angles as you're, uh, you know, doing the different poses. Well, um, all right, can you shift your shoulder a little bit there? And, okay, well, let's maybe try this other one. And and uh, so every pose you take, she'll, like, ask or adjust the way you're sitting a little bit. But uh, eventually the two of you will be able to come to a, a pose. I mean, with her line of work, Pink Fox, no doubt, has an immense number of different positions that she would uh, consider to be uh, proper and appropriate for what she's trying to evoke in this painting. Um, and Koharu, uh, you know, is is trying to look for something, uh, you know, something that kind of will grab her. So eventually the two of you guys will be able to come down onto uh, a specific pose. Yeah. All right, I'd like well... To, I'd like to use that time that they're... Um doing with that to do another evaluate roll if possible. I doubt I'm probably going to... It's doubtful. But I'm going to roll it anyway, and I'm going to spend another will. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot you spent will for the first one. So you got two yeah. successes that first time, so it would have been... You would have gotten the same information that Akira got. All right, it's okay. Anything more for this, or is so, it... One, two, three. Um... Hmm. She has no spirit bonds. You're going to be able to tell if she lies to you. Um, she doesn't have any hidden dislikes. She is very um, straightforward with what she hates. She hates enclosed spaces. She hates um, meat. She hates uh, quiet. 
um, she has to see either she has she needs to know where the escape route is of a room. So she needs to be able to see the door. She needs to be able to see uh, the windows. Um, it has to be open. Um, she needs cigarettes to calm her nerves. Um, she did uh, experiment um, with some other prescription medications before, um, but she has uh, kind of gotten away from that and is just focusing on uh, cigarettes um, and alcohol, but she doesn't drink when she's uh, painting. She just smokes. Um, sometimes mixes the ashes with the paint as well to kind of get a different texture to the look of uh, the picture that she's painting. Um, and uh, you will get some similar flashes. Let me see what uh, you... I'm going to get a visual here that you're going to have flash across your mind too. Sorry, it's just sometimes it's easier to use an actual visual instead of... Whilst we're waiting, what's Yoshi doing at this point? Uh, <coughs> how big is this room? It's a bedroom. Uh, it's a master bedroom, so I mean, there. I mean, it's not going to be... Uh, a lot of walkways, but there is, uh, you know, I guess if you guys were all, the two of you could stand in the room and watch her paint. It wouldn't be, um, it wouldn't be too crowded or awkward for that. And yeah, that's the other image that's going to flash through your mind um, as you're reading a little bit deeper into her. Hmm. Is that her body or mine? It's a good question. Hmm. <laughs> yes, I, I was. Well, I was going to say I'm not quite sure whether to be disgusted or turned on by that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt is from Pink Fox's perspective. Well, it's not necessarily she, a bad thing. She is getting <laughs> high up in a dharma. Exactly. We, we've got to experiment with cannibalism at some point. <laughs> <laughs> You. Um, and that's and that's a line I never thought I'd ever use in a game like this. Uh, <laughs> but yes, so Yoshi, if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to be in the room uh, with her, she didn't make any requests that uh, that you guys be left alone. Um, she, her guy, just kind of stands not in the doorway, but just outside of the doorway uh, while you while you guys are are there, um, and she. She seems very welcome to have the more people in the room, the merrier. All right, then. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh. So is this painting intended for anybody specific? Um, you seem to be wanting some sort of a seduction angle to this uh, portrait of you. Yeah. There's someone very special in our, <coughs> well, in my life that I feel that uh, deserves a very good present. Okay. I uh, can definitely get that from you. I'll, uh, let's, uh, let's get to business then. Uh, is it one of these, uh, gentlemen that you're doing the painting for, or? Uh, no, these are kind of my, some of my friends. This, uh, gentleman, I'm doing this for a surprise. Ah, okay, yeah, surprises. Well, you know, people, some people like surprises, and some people, you know, don't like surprises, but 
I mean, this is the kind of surprise that's usually probably really good. Um, I'm, uh, I don't know, I, I, I see this pink motive in you, but something, something tells me that, um, I don't know, I think I'm going to mix, mix a little bit of extra, like, green. I, I get this feeling that just uh, maybe the room behind you or the or the bed I'll kind of give give it a greenish sheen cuz I think green would go really good with your complexion and uh will also kind of draw attention to you um especially with the pose but you know kind of like a a bleached out green and she, like she's muttering like that, talking about what kind of things that she's yeah, so she's doing. That, and, um, Pink Fox can actually hear them. I'd like to do wits enigmas because I yeah, think yeah, oh well, yeah, she's she's she's, she's, she's talking three. Yes, three successes. Because I think I think that the suggestion of green is a little bit suspicious. Um, it does seem it does seem exceptionally coincidental. Um about the fact that that is your auspicious color for your dharma and she's talking about how green kind of would draw attention to you or would kind of suit you better um, and she's she's not even using the ashtray she is just kind of dipping uh, dropping her ashes into the paint uh, as she mixes it to uh, start the painting. I'll start painting you first in your pose just because it's probably difficult to sit there for a long period of time even with the uh, the breaks that I'm going to be taking but um, you'll uh, you know we'll kind of want you to tr get into a similar pose when you're back. Actually I find it works really good because that kind of breaks up the monotony of just sitting for like an hour or two hours straight um, wanting to get the uh, the ability for you to stretch and then when you come back you're not going to be in exactly the same pose so then that's going to make it feel more natural and more organic um. I'd like to do that particular role that Graham suggested as well okay. yeah, you guys can do intelligence occult standard difficulty I have no occult. Does that mean I can't do it, or did I have? I, have I would. I would say in this situation you wouldn't, because these guys are kind of okay. working off of their knowledge to see if they can kind of piece together anything. What do you know? Pink Fox actually knows shit. She does. <laughs> know. I don't. You got one success there, Yosh. I'm smarter than you. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you. No, There's nothing. Nothing seems to jump out. Um, she from Pink Fox because of what you've already read on her. She does seem. She does seem to be maybe more more aware than regular mortals would be. Um, with your standing in your dharma, you could maybe see where a human with awareness, especially an artist who gets inspiration and an artist who would basically have similar personality traits to your dharma, might actually pick up on the vibe that you radiate with your yang. So the, the talk of the green and all this kind of stuff could be just her subconsciously picking up on the fact that you are you are a thrashing dragon you are the thrashing dragon in the room you are at dharma 5 you're the embodiment of your beliefs um, at least to the extent that a mortal can attain because uh, that switch from 5 to 6 is where the, there's that bit of a supernatural leap so it's possible that she's just kind of picking up on, subconsciously picking up on the fact that you are, you are your dharma. And she's going to pick up on those little cues, those auspicious things. Um, this painting actually will probably be very, um, very interesting for somebody of your dharma to look at. 
to say the least, just from the, what she's talking about. Um, Yoshi, you're at from what you've seen in her, you're not really you're not really picking up on anything. You can't really think of anything out of the ordinary about her. Um, yeah, I guess Yoshi, I'll let you make a perception alertness roll, difficulty eight. Uh, let me just double check the. Uh... Nope. All right. So I can't. I can't give you anything else at this time, Yoshi. Unless you're gonna <laughs> peel back some layers or look at anything specially. But just from your your observations, you're not picking up on anything. Ooh. Um. Ooh. Here's something. Um. How is the painting that she's working on looking like her other work? Um. You would have. I guess, yeah, you'd have to walk over to her, or you could wait until she gets up for her first break. Um, okay. But she's not really angled in a spot where anybody could be, like, standing behind her, um, looking over her shoulder or anything. All right. Um, <clears throat> so at this point, actually, between uh, testing out poses and getting things started and stuff, um, she will uh, get up and uh, say, well, oh, I'm taking my first break. I will be back in a few minutes. And then she, with her assistant, uh, go outside into the backyard. As soon as she has cleared the room, uh, Akira will go over and, uh, and look at the painting. Um, and would that be a perception? Uh, uh, what? You could go uh, perception... Uh, enigmas. I Dif have none of that. Okay, so I'll let you go perception awareness at difficulty 8. Yeah, I think I have perception alertness. Okay, so you could just make perception at difficulty 8. I don't think I have awareness, do I? Just a second. Nope. Okay. Here goes, per straight up perception. Do I see something about this? Ooh, actually, one success. <laughs> um, yeah, so she, at this point, she's basically just kind of got, because, I mean, it's, she's only been painting for um, about 15 minutes or so. Yeah. Um, she uh, has kind of, like, started an outline of the position that Pink Fox was sitting in. Um, mm -hmm. She's doing the outline of the position in green. She's doing like a kind of like a green um, tracing outline concept of uh, the way Pink Fox was sitting. Um, not thick paint, light paint, um, but just kind of getting like the rough outline of the body um, yeah. in green paint. Um, the paint itself, even though it's like thinly applied, uh, because of the ash kind of has a bit of a um, an odd visual texture to it. Um, okay. Hmm. And as I said, do I notice any similarities? At this point, she hasn't really done enough of the painting. Um, she hasn't, you know, she's just started, and she's basically starting with working on, on Pink Fox. So um, with... I guess because you've spent more time looking at her previous paintings than the others, um, she's using the same dimensions of uh, e of uh, painting, like it's the same shape, the same size of painting, um, and it appears to be the same stock. So she's she uses the same consistent setup and framework for her paintings. Okay. Can I? Get Assuming Pink Fox uh, is able to like take a look at this painting, could I have a go at that uh, Enigma's role? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can get up. Oh, damn. Three. Okay. Well, um, so uh, the uh, at this point, you kind of got the same thing. Um, you can see as well um, within the outline, 
it looks like before she gets fresh paint, she's just kind of like dries off the paintbrush within the framework of where your body is. Um, so there's like some faint uh, splotches of paint within. Um, you will see, actually, um, they come in clusters of three or five. So you can see where she's dabbed the paintbrush three times. You can see where she's dabbed the paintbrush five times um, at a couple of spots to basically get the last of the paint off before she dabs it again. Three and five. Yeah. Really. Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think we know what uh, those numbers signify, don't we? I don't know. I'm just the storyteller. <laughs> uh, yes, you're also a, you're also a very big troll. Not that, uh, well, you're very much like me in a lot of ways. Uh, but yes, three and five. Hmm. I think with common sense we can uh, signify what those numbers do represent in the uh, grand auspice. Well, the in the manner of auspices, should we say? Because although I'm having to double check and the internet is being very, uh, very so, temperamental for me, at the I moment. honestly cannot remember I'm what those numbers. I'm pretty certain that uh, number three is uh, quite important for thrashing dragons. That it is. And the number five. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, one, and assuming that uh, the bloody subnet will allow me to get onto it. <laughs> Oh, I'm assuming that number five is uh, my directions or sp auspicious number. That I can. Thank you very quickly much. Quickly double check for you. Yes, because the subnet won't load for me. Yeah, no worries. I can check that quickly as she is. Um, uh, east is blue and eight. Oh. Okay. Five, if you're looking for um, Dharma n horoscopes, five would be the number four. None of them. <laughs> well. five, five is not a lucky number for any of the Dharmas or any of the directions. Is it an unlucky number? Um, or is no, there isn't. even such a thing? Okay. Not specifically. Uh, oh, sorry, I was wrong. Five is the lucky number for center. Oh, okay. Hmm. And at this point, you guys can hear them coming back into the house and on their way back. No, I was going to say. Um, in between the time that uh, you know they were having uh, their break, Pink Fox would have like uh, given an abridged version of uh, what she'd um, seen. <coughs> Akira will uh, will do the same with what he saw in her head. Uh, Akira will do the same with what he saw when he uh, tried to yeah. to use Soulbridge on her. Yeah, and then she probably would have like let um, everyone, uh, all of them, know that. Uh, she may be keenly more aware than most supernatural about the most mortals about the supernatural, which, considering what they think that they know about her, uh, yeah. And she'll also remind, she'll ask y Yoshi um, if he'd used uh, cultivation on her, and given how he hadn't, he'll probably call him an idiot. Yes, he revokes his uh, title of genius. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> at least until uh, his, at least until his edict memory gets better. I was going I was going to say uh, if we do that before she comes in, I'll bring up. You remember that friend who was here uh, when uh, when we were trying to clean up? Do you want him showing up in the middle of the uh, operation? Not saying anything, mate, but it begins with this letter. <laughs> <laughs> How would that work in Japanese? Mm. Yeah. I'd, yeah, probably like. 
Um, yes, anyway, yes, so she'll they'll come back. <laughs> she'll be like, okay, um, get into uh, get into your pose again. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. Uh, subtle differences can actually make for a much more richer look uh, to the paint, the finished work. Though I don't do a lot of portraits like this, but uh, you uh, were very convincing to my... Okay. Uh, uh, associate and uh, the uh, since you were willing to make the money uh, demands then uh, you know I guess there wasn't really a, an answer to say no so uh, yeah okay yeah. no that's good um, actually that's really good if you give me a second I want to try to get at least some of your hair done um, here before our next so she'll uh, She'll mix her paints up and with her ashes, and then she'll start um, dipping. You can see that she's uh, got a pink color on her brush, and she is um, trying to capture the essence of your hair, at least, as she's going through. Um, so is it a birthday, anniversary? What is the surprise that you uh, want for your friend? <coughs> Excuse me. She wasn't coughing. That was purely out of character. Uh, it's kind of a real special event. You know, it's not quite a birthday as it were, but it's kind of it's kind of complicated. You know. Complicated relationships, I can totally understand that. I try to avoid no, such no. complications. Not myself. like that. It's more a case of... Well, I'm not sure if the... I'm not sure if it this, like, translates well, but I think... Um, I think Americans call it... And she uses the English, uh, uh, in the English term, born again. Mm. Obviously, she she probably has somewhat of an idea of what it means, but you know, she she not speaking English as a flu uh, in any degree of fluency probably butchers the pronunciation. Akira, uh, since Akira speaks English, he he just smiles. Oh, oh, does he? Oh, nice. <laughs> he has uh, he has languages. Oh, nice. English and Mandarin. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, I see. Well, oh, that's uh, interesting. Yeah. Well, you know, he... In his own words, he felt he died and he rose again. And he felt like a new man. <laughs> I suppose accidents can lead people to uh, to do that. She'll turn up the music a little bit um, at that point uh, and uh, kind of start singing along a little bit uh, uh, to the song as she continues painting. Um, yeah, so you, got, you two boys just going to kind of sit there and watch... Watch well, these yeah, girls. Um, well, I can't. I can't use the same rules again. So, mm. um, okay. can Well, can I? I can't well, use I, it. I didn't, or I, did, I didn't know if you were going to, uh, if you were going to like just engage in conversation or if or anything. But um, um, it looks like yeah. Yoshi is going to be making a roll. So. Yoshi is going to try to read her dark desires, and so and you're spending a point of willpower. You said, Grant. Yep. Okay, so roll perception and Hun difficulty seven.
So, she has a surprisingly low hun for a mortal, and her po has actually been awakened. Um, she actually has a very strong po. Um, actually, it's not strong in the sense of your guys' being strong, but if she died tomorrow, you guys would see her probably the day after. She would she would be back. Um, she is uh, very much a candidate for the second breath at this point. Um, mechanics wise, you're supposed to be able to know what the PO score is. So she has the mortal equivalent of a PO of four. Damn. Um, she uh, da -da -da -da, has problems with addictions. She um, smokes to stop herself from cutting herself, because you can see that she used to do that. Um, she has a strong paranoia, hysteria, and phobia derangements. And her choice as vegan is um, to uh, overcome the fact that she has partaken of cannibalism at one point in her past and therefore avoids meat of any kind to resist the urge. But so... And she has murdered two individuals, one of which was her brother. Okay. At at uh, at, at uh, yeah, at late teenage, which would kind of fit with what you guys had learned from Masaru. Hmm. So yes, that is what five successes on your cultivation uh, scrutinized will let you see in uh, in her uh, into her soul as you're sitting there staring at her for a few uh, a few uh, rounds, a few turns, and since everybody else got a nice picture and you got lots of successes, I'll find a picture here for you too that you can have. That uh... I think I can speak for everyone in this hangout, barring uh, Jacob, of course, uh, with that apt description of um, Miss uh, Kingu Kaharu's uh, past. Holy shit, dude! <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, so that's. Uh... That's the stuff that's uh, coming back at you, and I'll give you this visualization as you're oh, looking shit. at her, reading reading the dark essence of her soul. Hmm. Am I reading Elizabeth? Uh, am I reading like uh, Elizabeth Bathory, or is that just visualization of? The horror of her soul. Um, that's actually that would probably be um, the mental it get. All right. So, like I said, if she died today, that's probably what her chi may would look like when you guys found her. <laughs> And she's singing joyfully a tune while you're sitting there sifting through all the nightmares that are in her head, being held at bay by the 
cigarette in her hand and the paintbrush in the other. And she gets a little bit more of the painting done, clears off the pink, then she goes back to doing a little bit more of the outline. Um, she's uh, and then she'll get up at the time for her next break because I know the three of you are going to rush over to take a look at what she's got so far. Um, so she does have Pink Fox's pink hair. Uh, she's pretty much got the basics or the underlay of it down. Um, again, she's cleaning off the brush within the outline of Pink Fox's body in between. Um, you can see dabs of three or dabs of five. And uh, she um, is also um, just starting to work on some of uh, Pink Fox's clothing, uh, filling in some of the clothes on the picture, because you didn't mention that you were not wearing clothes, so I assumed you were. Um, yeah, she is wearing clothes. This one. So, uh, I, was, so I, I was tempted uh, coming into the scene, but I thought... Nav. <laughs> with her naked for the time being. Um, so yeah. So af after after getting after getting your outline and getting your hair, then she's starting to fill in the clothing over top of. So. Um, yeah. So, uh, I'm not gonna go through every single half hour break, but. Is there anything specific that you guys are wanting to do when she comes back from this break? Um, are you going to wait till a little bit more of the picture starts to fill in, or because you guys have all basically read her soul to the extent that you're really going to be able to peer? Yeah, basically, I think um, Pink Fox will advise that everyone, um, uh, you know, during uh, subtly, you know, during the course of this whole uh, night, um, basically, like feed messages to uh, Ogawa on what they found. Very shortened messages, but basically, you know, basically abridged versions of what they've discovered about Koharu. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so she adds, she'll go back and forth with her breaks. Um, she does... Uh, like I said, she... between this song, listening to music, and singing along and every now and then she'll you know do some small talk or whatever um, but she'll, she'll she starts with the outline she does pink fox's hair she does pink fox's clothes then she goes and does the outline of the bed then she'll kinda fill in a little bit more of the outline a little bit more of the hair um, because your position has altered enough from getting up and coming back um, unless you're going to try to be exactly creepily in the same position every time, because you probably could. Um, well, but that specialty. Yeah. So if you're going to try to get in the exactly same position, otherwise she actually seems to thrive on the slight variances, and which is you know kind of not like it, it's actually after a while it kind of looks like there's like almost like a vague, a vague greenish aura around the painting of your body because of the way that your body has shifted as she's done it. Um, and, uh, and, then, and then she'll start filling in you know, some of the facial features and stuff. Um, and my dice roller is not working, so I will use an offline dice roller um, just to kind of check. Um, and then I'll give you guys a Perception Enigmas roll after she's got quite a bit of uh, Pink Fox and the bed set up. Uh, Mark, you can make this roll, even if you don't have Enigmas. Yeah. Um, I'll just... Uh, you can have a... You, theirs will be at difficulty 7, yours will be at difficulty 9. <laughs> okay. right, so just Let's... roll now. Or... Yeah, so... yeah. Yeah, okay. just, you guys can all roll. Oh, two successes. Nope, I botch. Okay. Ow. All right. So whatever I tell them, you're going to see the exact opposite. <laughs> <laughs> so when the three of you, afterwards when the three of you guys talk about it, you're going to be sure confused. Actually, that's not a botch. It's a failure. Oh, is it just No, a, because yeah. the difficulty is nine. You don't have a one, though. Ah, sorry. 
So it's not yeah, a watch. Of course. It's Good point. It's, 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 it's yeah. So you're just you're just like, oh, she's getting more of the painting done. So the things you guys are, because you guys are both looking at this painting from different perspectives. So Yoshi, the angle of the bed in the painting is not the same as the angle of the bed from what you can see where you're standing. So she's kind of shifted the dimensions and angle a little bit, and it's kind of reminiscent of the weird vibe you get when you look at her paintings with the rooms because she does weird um, angles um, with everything and uh, Pink Fox will take a look at it so as I said you've got that it's just at this point it's kind of just like a bit of a hint of a green aura around um, but that is still there um, at this point it's hard to tell if it's going to be apparent at the end when she's totally done but um, but when you look close, you can kind of still see a little bit of a faint green outline around your body. Um, she, you've got a really nice, beautiful face. You've got a very um, friendly face. Um, there seems to be a bit of a a bit of a harshness in the expression that she's painting of yours. You are smiling, but there there is. It's almost like it's almost like it's a bit of a like a subtly like almost like a comes across more of like a sarcastic smile in the pink painting than how you would be able to portray it. Um, and she's painting your eyes a little bit odd. She's got one of your eyes blue, and the other eye is red. Hmm. Artist, right? <laughs> <laughs> and Akira's like, ooh, painting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice colors. <laughs> yeah. Pretty colors. <laughs> ooh, shiny. Yeah. yeah, this. I think I'm going to steal a line from uh, Hank Hill and say, this boy ain't right. <laughs> Obviously, uh, gender swapped. Um, she she will come back, um, and so basically, as she gets you and the bed fairly complete, it does look really good. Um, she's like, you know what? Ha I have been here a long time, um, and it's no doubt getting really uh, long for you. I can finish this painting. Um, at my studio, and then I can bring it back once it's totally finished. I usually don't necessarily finish a painting in one sitting because I like to give it uh, some chance to breathe, let some time process it before uh, finishing it. Um, if, uh, if that's okay, I mean, I'm sure you don't want to stay up till 8 or 9 in the morning waiting for... Uh, for us to complete, and I do have a bit of a drive left uh, as well after. Uh, it's okay. Um, <coughs> you, know, you can leave it here if you want to. You know, no one's going to be using this room, uh, and we'll make sure that you know anyone who uh, we're going to we'll leave a note outside the room, like saying, you know, do not touch this. You know, if you do, we'll. You know, pull your fingers out or something. I don't know. Do Do you have strangers wandering around your bedroom often? No, but you know, sometimes we have the cleaning lady come in here, and you know, she always, always like t picks up stuff and puts it, you know, like on the bed or on the desk, and she just, you know, she never leaves it in the same place, and it kind of like ah. You know, you start lo you know, you start losing underwear, you start losing towels, that thing. And it just, it, I mean, she does a really good job. You know, everything is always very clean, but you know. Um. Okay. Um. Well. Uh. 
I mean, would you I, prefer I that we, could. Would you, no, would you that we keep the windows open, you know, just to keep the, all the air in? Air it. Or... Um, yeah, you know what? Um, I suppose uh, I would. Uh, I would be more comfortable just bringing it um, back to my studio to finish. Um, but if you are insistent that you would like to continue posing, um, then I I can leave it here and we uh, we can return. I can return uh, tomorrow or uh, in a couple of days, um, and then uh, you know we can finish. I mean I pretty much have have you uh, completed, but uh, I mean it is you know. Talking with you and and uh, you know interacting with you, I mean that could give me a, a little bit more inspiration as I f complete it. Um, I don't normally um, have. She kind of looks around. Quite so many people watching me paint. Um, it's actually been uh, a lot of fun. So I think uh, I'll uh, I'll be uh, yeah. We can do it that way. We can try it that way. It'll make this uh, definitely a, a unique, a unique painting. Mm -hmm. And we'll, you know, compensate you for the extra journey that you had to take. That'll that'll be fine. I think that'll be good. Um, all right. Well, uh, gentlemen, uh, Ms. Fox, uh, it's uh, uh, it's been a, a very inspirational evening. Um, I'll, uh, I'll see you when we return. Mm -hmm. And Ms. Fox will give like a very polite bow. And yeah, she'll, you know, escort um, uh, Miss Kingu and uh, her chauffeur uh, out to the front door and like see them off, you know, wave goodbye and everything like that. She'll, uh, the, they will leave. She'll have another cigarette uh, outside before she uh, gets in the car and rolls the windows down a bit, and then they drive off. Mm -hmm. And then Big Fox is going to go straight up to, <coughs> uh, up to the uh, bedroom again. Okay, so... Uh... Initial idea uh, that I had is kind of a little bit out the window. Um, and she'll like take a phone out, and she'll actually take like a, a picture of the um, of the painting. Ah, there you go. Yep. Yeah, on her phone. Yeah. Just to um. Yeah, in fact. Hello, Mark. Yeah, Pink Fox just basically came back and said. Uh, Okay, um, initial idea that I had is a little bit out the window now, considering all that we learned. Uh, and Grant's fucked off again. <laughs> <laughs> His connection is really yeah. bad. Could be having a connection issue. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what's next? This is a little bit beyond, well, I don't know too much about, um, well, considering what we've all learned and considering, you know, we've been sending all these messages to um, Ogawa all night, I hope that he's probably come up with a, you know, he's come up with an image, you know, just what, um, just what the fuck caused this whole thing with Kaharu. Yeah. Okay. We need to we need to finish soon though. Mm. Yeah, we're still on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we hadn't finished, but I think we were just about oh, well, it, unless there was any I'm, last words that 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 was Akira in scene saying we need this this finished and this meaning yeah. this whole Kuhar business. Yeah. yeah. This was nothing complaining about the scene. Yeah. <laughs> so did the painter leave? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, 
Uh, here she's going to ask, uh, paint, uh, did she end up taking her painting with her? No, she didn't. Wah! Okay, I'm, anyway. Uh, you, you can thank me for that, because I'm a tricky bastard like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's what I think we can all agree upon, what we know. She's obviously messed up in the head, which I think we can attribute to the uh, broken mirror. Um, um, I think she is aware of, you know, she's probably somewhat aware, more than mortals, you know. Hey, Kira will look over at uh, at Yoshi when he uh, when he says, "Actually, go on." He encourages. I believe that the broken mirror has come about because of a uh, vent that she and her brother were forced to live through. How? Well, emotional. Uh, 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 emo emotional, uh, uh, give me a second. Trauma? The, uh, no, the, um, the, um, uh, oh, the other side, like the yin and yang worlds, can be greatly affected by, uh, human emotions and uh, act and sometimes actions, correct? Yes. Yes. So, given the fact, and did I get a sense that she killed both these people around the same time? Um. Yeah. Pretty much around okay. the same time. Given I believe. Uh, I believe they were all locked in a dark room with no noise and no food. Think about it. That type of experience can have psychic repercussions in the other side. Mm. So, what do you think we should do about it? <sighs> Definitely going to have to do some research. See if any more, if I can get an actual account of a, another event like this. Well, don't uh, waste too much time. We don't have uh, long before we're supposed to be finishing this painting. And in all honesty, I think that uh, I think that Ogao is probably going to be the best person to ask about this. <sighs> but the thing that bothers me the most, I mean, more than you know, the idea of a broken mirror being able to be created just like that, and everything else that we know about Kaharu. What bothers me the most is how we're going to help Masaru. I mean, I mean, you said yourself that we can't kill her without, you know, causing her to take the second breath. Hmm. It is possible. Although... Would his vengeance extend to her in undeath, as it were? I would think so. Wouldn't you? <sighs> the question is, though, Akira says, and I apologize, because although I have some knowledge of some things, I do not have intricate knowledge of exactly uh, what uh, or how long it takes between 
the period of dying and until the second breath, if that is something one manages to take. But if if we if we kill her and she does take the second breath, it might be in in a, it might be next week, yes, but it might also be in a century from now, right? Mm, I don't know. Unless I can do a quick uh, occult check. On yeah. sorry, on which? On, um, yeah, on how long it 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 uh, it. It takes between you dying and taking the second breath. Uh, yeah, yeah, you could go intelligence so cold. Okay. Uh, depending on the difficulty, that's either two successes or no successes. Uh, usually it's within, um, like usually it's within months um, at the most. There have been some situations where people have okay. come back years or even decades later. Um, but uh, usually it, it has somewhat to do with the circumstances of their death, somewhat to do with the strength of their Poe and willpower upon their death, and um, which hell they get to. Hmm. Jacob, uh, yes. would analytical affect me in this role? And what are you rolling? I was going to roll... Same thing? I rolled it, yeah, intelligence. Um, yeah, from what you saw, she probably would be right on her way back. Um, okay. She would... Uh, she's very strong-willed, <laughs> and she's got uh, an awa a very strong awakened Poe, so once it gets that charge of hell, it probably will break for loose, like, very quickly. Hmm. Ooh, this brings up another question. Uh, if she does bring up her second breath, is is there a good chance that she won't have the uh, functioning hun? With that role, she should have a functioning hung, hun. But it wouldn't necessarily be a strong one. Okay. So, it uh, because if it, because it's the the Hun that animates the body. So if there's no Hun, she wouldn't be able to come back. Um, but it doesn't necessarily. It's not it's like she might only have like a Hun of one. And a Poe of four. So while she, right now she's very calm and in control of herself, she would be very much the opposite upon taking the second breath. Mm. She'd basically make Masaru look like. Well, I think we a can. A big man who likes to pet kittens? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. that's, a, that's actually probably a, a fairly good comparison, is yeah, she would probably. Um, I mean, he's whatever circumstances that caused him to come back. He seemed to have a little bit more of his higher soul intact. Um, you know, his Poe is still strong, but yeah. um, you know, not uh, it, he wouldn't be as Poe imbalanced as she would. Mm. And that's assuming that she even makes it past the feral uh, Chame stage. Yeah. Which she may not. That, that's the. Might uh, have been another thing that uh, you can give to a Gower. <laughs> only only yeah. you won't have any acts of blindness for this one. Uh, anyway, I was going to say, uh, is it possible that uh, that's what I meant by the uh, functioning hun? Is it would it probably be? Uh, is there a good chance she'd stay a feral? Uh, she may, or is it, uh, or is this a thing difficult to gauge? It's more um, than anything else. Because you know, well, see, see, because you've got this level of insight on her already. If something happened to her, you could probably improve her chances. Because he was just like randomly dumped somewhere and came back. 
um, she like if she, something happened to her, you had her body. You guys could have her totally ready for the uh, chain her down and and uh, enact the ritual to force her hunt in control. So she might, you know, if you guys keep tabs on her, if anything happens to her, you probably would really increase her ability of uh, becoming functional. Mm. But she would most likely be uh, be a definitely trained as a devil tiger with that level of imbalance to the Poe. Mm. Uh, I was going to say, as they said in the... Uh, uh, when they assessed their... Uh, her brother, uh, wasn't there a bit that he did love... or he did love her... Uh, his sister before the uh, event? Wasn't she very protective of him? Yes. Mm. Though she, he did hate her paintings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you guys definitely got that loud and clear. Mm -hmm. She's a pretty decent artist. I don't know why he's got such a hate on for her. Wait. Probably, probably the paintings just give him bad vibes. I was going to say, that in all the time that we've talked, is it mostly that he hates the paintings? Or does he definitely also hate his sister? Does he thinking of destroying his sister so she can't make any more of the, the paintings? Or does he just want to kill his sister? That'd be worth a follow-up conversation with him. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that will have to happen at another time, though. Cause, yeah. Um, it's yeah. At 11 o'clock, I mean, I've got to be at work at 6. So okay. we will end the scene. Um, you guys have information as well. You've arranged for another meetup with her, which is good. That's very convenient. Um, and uh, that'll maybe give you guys time to uh, touch base with Ogawa and or Masaru and or um, uh, what you call Makato or Musashi or whoever else you want to try to, or Gekusha, whoever else you want to try to pick the brains of <laughs> before you guys interact with her again. Anyway, yes. Uh, we'll talk about this um, probably tomorrow sometime. Sounds good. All right. Well, thank okay. you, gentlemen, and thank you, viewers. Have yourselves a good evening. Sayonara. Sayonara. Sayonara.